Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be going through the Bitcoin chart here, the correlation that remains with the stock market and how we can foresee this playing out. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. And let's get straight into the charts here. So starting with Bitcoin, as we can see, we actually have this really well-defined range. You can see the first high of it being put back in on the 3rd of September. And then obviously you see the deviations from the lows back up to the midpoint to the low, deviations from the highs back to the midpoint, lost to the lows, and the midpoint very well respected throughout this whole move here. Okay, and we can see from the 3rd of September to where we are now, this is going on for 25 days. So coming up a month, and as you know, we actually have our monthly close tomorrow as well. So it's all wrapping up really nice <laughs> that this current range that we have, obviously within this range, we are tightening up with our first overall low, then the first overall high of the range, we put in a higher low and a lower high. So we are curling up, curling up, curling up. As we know, we do have the potential triangle that is still within this pattern, which obviously is looking like this at the moment from the lows and then from the highs, sorry, and then from the lows. If I can click, <laughs> if I can click, then we also have those lows dr dragging up like this. So we do have the potential still of obviously the overall triangle, okay? So that's something to be aware of, but obviously locally we are just curling up here more and more and more, okay? With even internally here, okay? So even internally, we actually put in a low and then a high, higher low, higher high, and this is still a higher low. So well, in, internally you have bullish market structure going on, obviously within what is the potential wave C of the ABCDE triangle. So that's just something to be aware of. And I actually want to show you how well respected this original range is, okay? So this is obviously our range from around 10.250 to around 10.950, uh, more or less. And if we go to the weekly charts, these are weekly levels. And um, you look back into the past and you just see like, so well respected so 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 well respected all four of these levels okay so you can see way back from 19 okay may 19 when this first original weekly was put in you can see how you had a bit of resistance 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 now support 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 you can then also see the top weekly being resistance 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 and then now resistance 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 and then with this internal two weekly levels that we have with the middle of the range I want to highlight to you this because it's very impressive. Uh, the first weekly resistance, 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 support, now back into resistance. You can see here the weekly support, 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 resistance, resistance, resistance. But what I want to highlight to you is the middle of this channel and how well respected this has been with its resistance, 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 support. And this is basically to the exact dollar. Okay, so you see the middle of the channel to the dollar, to the dollar, to the dollar. So we can say that these are very, very, very well respected and defined levels here that we have. So that is the middle of the channel coming in at around 10,540. The high of this channel, 10,915 and the low at around 10,250. So very well respected and defined channel. So there's no surprise in my opinion that for the past 25 days, we have been ultimately range bound between these three very key levels, ultimately between the high and the low, but the middle of the channel pain, utmost importance to deciphering the trades that you're going to be taking. Um, and that's still ongoing, obviously, at the moment. Uh, so yeah, that that's kind of the range that I can see, that I can pass on to you that, that we have going on here. So a very well-respected weekly, very well-respected, you know, lower weekly, and a very well-respected middle of the channel. Within this, we do have the potential. Okay, this is still only a potential. Uh, you have the triangle. Um, which is only going to play out if you lose, obviously, your support. So one could say that this is a really big support at around 10,540. And, you know, the saying goes that if you're above support, then you obviously look for bullish scenarios. So that's obviously a really key support that you can be aware of. And, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to trade. You can make that decision yourself. <laughs> not financial advice in this video. But what I'm saying is, you could say to yourself, okay, we're holding the middle of the channel support. I'm going to be bullish and looking for longs. That's something you could maybe say to yourself. Alternatively, you could be looking for the overall triangle, triangle to play out and, and looking down to it for another rotation down to those lows. And maybe we actually remain range bound going into the monthly close, which again is, is tomorrow. Um, monthly close going into October. So it should be a pretty nice month ahead. And the reason why I feel it will be such a nice month ahead in terms of trading opportunities is simply because of what the ES is doing. 
So as you know, I, I've been trading more and more against stocks recently. I've, I've absolutely loved the stock market. It's, the volatility is, in, is massive in comparison to Bitcoin, which is range bound. Um, this is what we were looking at, or I personally was anyway, for the uh, ES. And this is off of the futures open, obviously, on uh, Sunday night. So last week uh, we were, well, I was anyway expecting another push to the upside. And this is what we got out of this. So that, that, this was the prediction. And then what we have play out is actually a move currently to the top of the channel on this ES. Let's move over to it a second. Uh, move over, you know, the move, very strong move, continuation to the top of the channel. We can see the reactions of around the top of the channel, currently finding a double top and a pullback from this channel. Overall, one has to say that this has been a great, great, great amount of strength off of the weekly levels. And this is what I just have to say, you know, the technical analysis, biggest market in the world, just respected to almost, the, you know, almost the tick. So it's very, 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 very enjoyable uh slash easy trading like you know that was not easy um you know that was not a hard position obviously from the weekly you've gone all the way back up to the top of the channel and ultimately it has been going from the top of the channel to the low of the channel to the top of the channel to the low of the channel to the top of the channel <laughs> you know that's what that's what's been going on on the on the stock market so uh obviously we know the correlation between the stock market that pushed up Bitcoin got its uh, push up. This is the 15 minute chart. Got its push up, and then obviously uh, you see Bitcoin and and the stock market is slightly falling down today. Um, so you know, as always, the, for me the the correlation is so 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 important. I have literally just been basing Bitcoin trades by by trading the stock market. So. Um, because it does fear that as times you are you might as well just be trading the stock market when you're on bitcoin because it, it just follows what it's doing over the last few months so <laughs> you know it's pretty crazy what's going on but um you can't complain because it is a really nice well it's just a really nice edge at the moment because it's it is correlated so obviously the market goes through correlations and then it will decorrelate and you know the correlation will go but i feel it's like one of these opportunities that you have to make the most of while it's there because it doesn't last forever um and this is why you've got to be you know always updating your strategies looking at what's you know what's hot at the moment what's not <laughs> sort of thing but um yeah that's that's what i got for you in today's video this just just lovely range absolutely lovely 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 range uh obviously you got the bullish market structure at the moment and you're holding support so that's something to be aware of you're seeing overall es strength you can see how the market opens obviously if you're looking towards the standard index uh you can look how that opens in uh in about five hours time uh the us market open uh, again it's gonna it's gonna be cu crucial to how bitcoin plays out here whether you break this break this uh you know week and you head towards eleven thousand dollars or whether you know whether you drop down towards the middle of the channel once more that is what i will be doing um we'll have to see if this prediction plays out on the yes obviously i am overall a bull on that market and um you know if you want the live stream updates that i give i have done a live stream for this champions and the contenders this morning where i've gone in more in depth obviously oh i was about like one minute away from the end of the video and i had an alert went off for a trade i needed to take so i'm back to end the video once again and i'm just going to say this time i hope that you have enjoyed the video uh if as always if you have enjoyed and you've enjoyed the range that i've shared with you today uh, i would have thoroughly appreciate a like down below and if you have not enjoyed the video then just give it a dislike um you know the world is the world is free more power to you i hope that you've enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs> cheers everybody bye